Well, Mike Mullen has been a part of the Lima Airways for over 40 years, from TV to radio to the internet as well, now the voice of the UNOH racers. He has written a book titled Mullen It Over, and he recently sat down with Mark Coons to talk about the project and says leaving a written record of his life for his grandchildren was only part of the reason he decided to put pen to paper. I wanted to tell my story to them so that when they are adults and have kids of their own, they can pass on that legacy. So that was one reason. The second was, I was blessed with the opportunity to talk to people in Northwest Ohio for 31 years at WIMA, and now I've continued it with some work for the University of Northwestern Ohio, now 40 years and counting in the broadcast uh, arena in this community. And so many people over the years have come up to me and said how much they appreciated my work and things of that nature. I wanted to give something back to them. I wanted to reflect on my career, uh, take them back down memory lane in some cases, and just talk about what life was like in radio during the era when radio really was the major electronic way to uh, connect with instantaneous updates on news, weather, and sports. There are many, many ways to do that now, but in the 80s and early 90s and late 70s, uh, radio was it. I mean, if you wanted instant, uh, instant updates on what was going on in the world, uh, be it locally, nationally, or internationally, you had to turn your radio on. You mentioned 30 plus years people have known you, felt like you're part of their family if they've listened to you around the, the kitchen table or in the car radio. In the book, you really give them a peek into your heart and soul that perhaps they, they didn't get over the airways. You were really pretty honest about some of the struggles you went through personally. Well, I want, that was part of my life. I mean, I wanted to tell my life, it, it is a, while it is a book about sports, because that was my life's work, it is not a sports book. It's a book that tells the life story of Mike Mullen. And my life story included 30 years before I ever even got into the broadcast industry. I tell the story in the book of how I did become a sportscaster, which is different in its own right. Um, I tell what it was like to get my first job in Lima, which wasn't in radio, it was in television, and how I then migrated to radio, and how things evolved over that time. I talk a lot about the people I worked with in radio, people like Tom Francis and uh, others at WIMA who many people will recognize their names. Uh, the people who read this book will recognize many, many people from the coaches I talk about to the people I worked with at radio to a lot of the athletes that I was privileged to broadcast. And when you look at the fact that Lima, Ohio is a relatively small market, uh, I was I was so blessed to see so many great athletes who at the time you had no idea would go on to be great pros. LeBron James, yeah, I knew the minute I saw LeBron James that he was going to be an NBA superstar. But most of the people, you know, as high school 16, 17 year olds, yeah, they're great athletes, but you have no idea that they're going to be NFL Hall of Famer Chris Carter, or you don't have any idea that they're going to be uh, Keith Byers, who plays, you know, 15 years in the NFL as a running back or something like that. But um, in looking back, it was a lot of fun to go back over those days and, and recall a lot of the good memories. Where can folks get the book? Uh, folks can get the book at uh, all Lima Read More bookstores. They are available uh, both on, on West Elm Street, uh, in Eastgate Plaza, and on Flanders Avenue. I believe they also have them at the Read More store in Delphus. I also have a website, uh, which is pretty easy to remember. The book is entitled Mullin' It Over, so it's M-I-O, the book, dot com. 